Hey Gemini, this is LT about to do a reading for you guys. So if you guys haven't already, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I pulled some cards for you already, so I want to just jump right into this. So when I was looking at these cards, like you have love coming towards you. I see uh, a new love coming towards you, but I was looking at the the cards at the um, underneath, right? So for me, when I read tarot, this is like the Ace of Cups. Uh, well, when I read tarot, this card right here is like the overall energy. And this kind of tells me like what's affecting um, this, right? So I just want to say some um, things that stands out to me. You have two nine cards here. I feel like these two nine cards could be like, um, nine kind of represents like being a humanitarian. And so when you're a humanitarian, like you could give too much. Like that could be a card like, you know, you're going above and um, beyond for people or things that are not giving you that same energy back. You know, um, you got the eight of soul, I mean the eight here. Um, when you're manifesting uh, with the number eight, um, you can manifest uh, good energy. You can manifest something negative. So I wanted to point those two things out. And then you have these two um, aces here. Ace refers to new beginnings. Okay. So that's the main thing there too. Aces always refer to new beginnings. So um, so that was just kind of like some things I seen as I was re uh, pulling out the cards. But to just actually get into the reading here. So you do have the Ace of Cups here. So I do see like there is new beginnings when it comes to your love life, right? So this love life, this could be somebody old or this could be somebody new for you, but it feels new, you know? Like it could be a person that maybe has grown um, or matured here um, um, and they're loving for you or this could be a totally new person. But the issue with that is because looking at the cards behind it, the issue uh, with that is the fact that you may have not healed from your past, okay? So because you may have not healed from your past, you could be holding on to things that no longer serve you. I say that because it's like the nine of wands here talks about like um, having your guard up, you know, having these boundaries up here. Um, and so it's like, it, it could be like feeling trapped, feeling like you're in jail, but it's like a very defensive energy. Um, this person here, it's like, she may be, she may be ready for something, but she ready for something to pop off too. You know, it doesn't look like she's open to, I mean, she doesn't look like she's open with a kind heart for something uh, new to come in. It's like, she's very defensive about what's maybe coming in. She may feel this energy, she may want this energy, but at the same time, her actions behind it is causing her to like not being able to accept this energy, if you get what I'm saying. So with the Ace of Wands here, this is just simply talking, I mean, not the Wands here, this is just talking about that defensive energy right she's super defensive she she hasn't been able to let her guard down because she doesn't know if love is going to hurt or is love, or she's going to win at love at the same time i feel like she wants the love right because she's not denying the love she just she wants the love but she doesn't know how to accept the love at this point because maybe um she's been through too much but she's working on herself because she's allowing it to come in. Now, the thing about it is you don't want to, like, if you are in this situation, what you don't want to happen is for, um, you just simply don't want, like, you to damage somebody else because you're not totally ready for something right now. Forget what I'm saying. You want to, um, you want to open up your heart. You want to work on your heart chakra here. Now with the nine of swords here, because of your past, you like your. It seems like your past is key, um, making it harder for your future. You know, so because of her, your past, like the nine of swords energy, it's like you're having a hard time. Like you're having sleepless nights. You're not really feeling um, focused or as love as you normally feel, or you're not 
you don't feel like yourself because it's like something about your past is keeping you up it's like you're wrestling with that energy and you're trying to figure out what direction you really want to go into because your past is affecting you right now because you you could get this love you could get the this could be the love of a lifetime right that you're actually manifesting and having your life but because you're looking for a red flag you're looking for some wrongs here you're having a hard time with actually being able to move forward now the eight of swords talks about that as well being mentally trapped so you feel like you you in these two cards you see that they have they have wands here in the back and now they have knives here in the front and it's like now you're sitting up here you're feeling trapped you have all the tools that you need to get to move forward but you're you're having a hard time just like recognizing that and able to move forward so it's like you're keeping yourself um bound to your past and it's time to move forward i do see that you should keep work i mean you should um keep pushing forward on this relationship though because with the ace of swords it's like even though there may be a rocky start right even though you may be feeling all this energy in the past there's a new beginning when it comes to this right so you have a new beginning in love but it's like it may be a little rocky for you because you may have to get used to like um being in that loving energy again because love has betrayed you in the past and so now you are more defensive about your future here now with the two of uh, wands here i just feel like you're planning here like you're planning for your future and you're ready uh, you're ready to take some action i feel like that's what you're getting so it's like your outcome is like you're going to take some actions towards the things that you desire but it all it's all about how you get there it's like it's a journey getting to the point of being more optimistic about love going after the things that you want when it comes to love but you do it you keep pushing forward so your hard works end up paying off but it's like you created this journey because you really need to work on your past and really heal from your past. So, you guys, this is what I have. If you haven't already, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I definitely want to thank you for watching. And bye, y'all.